Hey guys, so today I am doing a little bit of a makeup video. Um, so what this video is, is not a tutorial. It's not really a comprehensive makeup look. I don't really know what this is. This is just me playing around with a little bit of makeup. I thought I would film it. I thought I would do a little voiceover. And so yeah, that's where we are. Um, so basically the reason why I was playing around with makeup is because I was trying to decide how I want to do my makeup for 17. Um, so if you guys didn't know, I have bought tickets to the 17 concert in London in March and I'm going with my friend Jasmine and her friend Jenny and it should be a bunch of fun. It should be a really fun time and obviously I'm going to vlog the entire thing. Um, and so I was kind of preparing for that this last weekend. I was just trying to decide like what to wear and how I want to do my makeup and when it came to trying to do my makeup I decided to film it because I haven't posted a video in a while and I didn't really want to wait until March to post my 17 vlog. I wanted to kind of post something in between so I guess this makeup is the in-between and maybe if I can think of another video idea I'll have another video in February um but yeah so this is just me like playing around with my makeup. I haven't really played around with makeup in a long time. Um, that's not true actually. I think like um, just before the new year I was playing around with some makeup. My Shein Dawson and Jeffree Star collection I was playing around with that because I had a drag queen show to go to and I wanted to use my new makeup and things like that. But yeah, anyway, so I just thought I would like kind of talk you through a little bit of what I was doing with this makeup look. So. Uh, basically, I wanted to use the colors of Seventeen um, because Seventeen have official colors that go with their grip. Now, I just want to put it out there, guys. I feel like I'm a K-pop newbie. I'm not like a hardcore K-pop stan. Um, you guys, if you follow my channel for a long time, then you know I didn't really know anything about like K-pop at all until I went to KCON in 2016 with my friend Jasmine. So like I'm still very new to the world of K-pop and ever since I went to see Day6 I've been getting a lot more into the K-pop world, um, especially like the Twitter K-pop world, mainly just because I made a lot of friends on Twitter uh, through Day6 and also now 317 I'm in a couple of group chats and things like that. So. I follow all these K-pop stands and I'm kind of getting redrawn back into that world. And one of the things that I've learned is that Seventeen have like official colors. Um, so those official colors are Rose Quartz and Serenity. And basically what that means is like they have really nice pastel colors to work with. So I'm talking like this like cute baby pink and also like a baby bluish purple color. So like I wanted to play around with those colors and make a cute eye look and earlier in the week my friend Jasmine had actually done like makeup prep for Seventeen and it got me really excited and I was like oh my god I want to play around with my makeup too so she kind of inspired me to do this but also like I wanted to play around on my own as well. Um, so the main eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to use were one my James Charles X Morphe palette because hello it has every color under the sun so if I was going to find colors to match it would be that one and uh, I also really wanted to use my Shein Dawson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette. Now the Conspiracy palette is a bit out there and I feel like you can only use it if you want specific looks but I was really determined I was like maybe there's a color in there that will work um, and I also grabbed my mini conspiracy palette because I haven't really used that yet as well um, so those were like the main palettes that I was going for and I already knew that the James Charles one had um, like cute blue colors to use in it so I thought that was perfect uh, the pink color was a little bit more difficult for me um, but I actually, I found a great solution for that. I just used one of my Jeffree Star Shein Dawson liquid lips. So if you guys watched my Jeffree Star and Shein Dawson unboxing video, then you will know that I got the Pig liquid lip bundle, which has all the colors in it. And I said that there were a few colors that I wasn't sure were going to suit me. And one of them was the bright baby pink color oh my god, I was like, this color is definitely not going to suit me, but it would make a really cute eye color. And so this was the first time I actually played around with Jeffree Star Liquid Lips on the eye. Now, I will say that, you know, it's like putting any liquid on your eye. Like, it's a little bit 
iffy to you know blend and things like that but like once you get it on and you have like a good brush and everything like it was fine it was really cute um and i i would definitely recommend if you haven't done it plus jeffrey's products are vegan and so you can use them on your eyes and things he said that numerous times in videos so i was kind of excited to play around with that and do something a little bit different also I decided to do my eyes two different ways in this video. So the first eye you will see me doing has the blue colors in the crease with the pink on the lid. And then the other eye that I do has the pink in the crease and the blue on the lid. And I've already done polls on Instagram and Twitter to find out what way I should do my eyes because I'd rather have them done like two of the same rather than having like two different ones. Um, just cause it like, looks a little bit weird I think I mean there's nothing wrong with it but I would prefer to have both my eyes the same and um Instagram voted for my eyes to be done one way and then Twitter decided that I should do my eyes the other way and so I feel like I might just end up doing them both again but that being said I do have a whole month to decide how I want to do my eyes so I'm not in any rush to kind of figure that out but it was kind of interesting to see like the different opinions because when I posted on Twitter and Instagram about what I should wear, everyone was kind of on the same boat. Everyone was like, yeah, you should wear the skirt, which is fine because <laughs> I mean, I could not pull off trying to wear trousers and a skirt at the same time. That would not be cute. But like, yeah, um, I know ultimately the decision is mine, but I did just want to get feedback from the Internet because, you know, why not? Um, and so, yeah. That kind of explains all the makeup um, and I actually noticed when I set up my camera this always happens to me when I try to film makeup videos but like I can never film my face like straight ahead because I'm not a professional youtuber and I don't have like a huge tripod and fancy lights and like you know a good setup so that I can film myself that way so when I always film myself doing makeup it's always at an angle so I feel like you guys are always missing like one side of my face um, which is probably why I don't do tutorials and stuff because you can't really see what I'm doing. Um, especially when it comes to like trying to do my eyes two different ways. Like to do a tutorial like that, you definitely need to see both eyes to see what I'm doing. Um, but I feel like I've been doing my eyeshadow the same way for the last like five years or something. So like if you guys watch any of my other makeup videos on YouTube, then you kind of know I do my eyes the same way. I always do my crease first and then I'll put the color on the lid and like sometimes I'll put concealer on my lid to um, have more space for the color basically so it can be seen because sometimes when you put the color in your crease, um, it's too dark. So when you put the lighter color on the lid, it won't show. So I put a little bit of concealer on because that's what I've learned through my years of watching beauty gurus. You can stick a little concealer on your lid and it kind of helps. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, also, um, I did actually end up using one color in my Shein Dawson Conspiracy palette. And it was the color Pigment because I was putting like the light uh, liquid lip on my eye um, in the crease and it's like too light to really see. Um, it comes through on the other eye with the blue in the crease because I have concealer on as well and also because it's like really you know padded down there like I really wanted you to see the color um, but because when I put it in my crease and there was nothing else there and I was blending it out you couldn't really see it so I decided to use like um, the pigment color to add some dimension to the crease so you can actually see the pink there and I think that the pink actually looks really good so what I might do is um, basically when I did the eye look I was kind of leaning towards the blue in the crease with the pink in the middle and so I was kind of thinking that when I do that I might also add some more of that Shein Dawson pigment color because it's a really nice dark pink and I think it'll blend the colors really well together um, so yeah um, other things that I decided to do with the look, um, so when it comes to K-pop concerts, uh, they really don't have this for Western concerts, but for K-pop concerts, um, we always have like official fan groups and they always do fan projects for the concert. So what that means is like they'll make like little banners for everyone at the concert. They'll like hand out these free banners and they'll want you to like hold them up during a certain song and stuff. It's really cute. I saw one on Twitter. It was like day six in Berlin, I think it was. And like they are the fan project where when they played the song Dance Dance, everyone just like brought out all these balloons and had like a little balloon party. It looked amazing. Um, 
so yeah like 17 have a fun group in the uk and they're doing this fan project which is like the glitter project basically what that means is they're going to be going around and putting glitter on people's faces so i decided that i would also play around with like drawing on my face uh, which is something that I never do when I do makeup like I feel like I always do my makeup in a basic way I never go above and beyond and I'm never really like extra with my glam uh, but this time I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it especially because I'm going to the concert with Jasmine and honestly guys Jasmine is so extra that I feel like I have to match it and I'm not even saying that in a bad way like honestly I love her so much and like she always like goes big or go home um so like I feel like I have to you know match that intensity so yeah on my right side of my face the side that you can't really see um I'm drawing a just like a basic diamond because if you don't know anything about Seventeen basically um their fandom name is carrots as in like diamond carrots um because they had the first song that was like shining diamond um slip into that diamond life and so I wanted to draw like a little diamond on the side of my face uh so I just did that with a little bit of silver eyeliner pencil and then I went over it with like glitter eyeliner because you know I needed some glitter I did think about using loose glitter because I do have some of that but I decided it might be better just to stick with the um, liquid eyeliner although it doesn't give as much sparkle as I would like it to um, but you know like I said this is just a trial so I don't know if I'll do any more trials leading up to the concert but I probably will because I have a lot of free time on my hands um, but yeah so that turned out kind of cute I was actually really proud of that then on my left side which is the side that you guys can see more clearly on the camera uh, I tried to draw the 17 logo and this was a difficult because um like i was trying to make it like a triangle and i thought it was going well and then once i'd drawn it and actually looked at it um i could tell that it was rounder than it was meant to be it's supposed to be like more angular and stuff um that one didn't turn out as successfully uh, so what i think i'm gonna do on the day is actually just draw the diamond on one side of my face and then maybe just put like random glitter on the other side of my face to kind of be part of the fan project but also look better than I did I mean I suppose I could get someone else to draw it on my face for me because like I'll be with people but um yeah I don't know there's still a lot of time to the concert for me to decide um but yeah uh I think I've done enough rambling now so I'm gonna go uh I hope that you guys enjoyed this one if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and let me know in the comments below which eye you prefer do you prefer the left side do you prefer the right side do you have any advice for how to do my makeup for the concert like I said it's literally not until next month so if you guys have any thoughts then let me know um and yeah like I said I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video Bye, guys.